All right, you fuse box. I'm ready for you. I got myself a nice glass of wine and I'm all ready to solve some puzzles. I, I, I'm okay on ice. My glass is like one cube in it. I'm, I'm good with ice. Thank you. Okay. The mast is still not getting any power. The fuses seem okay. I wonder if these switches control the current. Yes, they do. Okay. The small text around the edge says 18... 1800? 800! So these numbers, I imagine they have to match up to this 800. And there are three settings to this, which I'm thinking it's either adding it, uh, it's not doing anything, maybe adding this value exactly, or subtracting it. Let me just take a little sip. Okay, I can do this. This fuse box puzzles are my favorite. I even got out my calculator for this, trying to figure it out, like how are you supposed to subtract or add or work with these numbers, but ultimately I think I'm just gonna wing it and try different combinations to see what works. Then eventually, maybe something will work. You know, just out of luck. Come on, something has to work. I keep doing the same- oh! Hey! I knew random chance would be in my favor. Okay, let's do the second one. It won't move. What do you mean it won't move? It, it moves just fine. Never mind. Well, isn't that lucky? A small light. It won't move, but it's on. Okay, last one. This is um, way faster. I spent the last 10 minutes trying to figure out this puzzle, and if there's a hint in this game for it, Man, did I miss it. But I really gave it my best, this math thing. But I failed. Quite badly. Come on. Come on, where is it? Where's lucky combination? I know you're there. Come on. Aha! It worked! Random chance always wins. Oops. No, where was it? There we go. Okay. Please tell me that I don't have to do anything else. Looks like the mast is up and running again. And there goes Adwa. He could have waited for me. He left exactly when I was done. I'm already on my way. My ass he was already on his way. He just wanted to beat me to the crash site. I don't get it. Yeah, they're... Assholes. Oh, maybe Chen and uh, Adwo are working together. I fixed the mast so the rescue team will know where to land. Great. I'm the best Samaritan ever. So, what else should we do? No, Nobody left but me and Parker's dead body and... Hmm. I wonder if this, oh, this is open now. Locked. I'll have to go round the back. Garbage. G g garage not garbage the garage doors are back there hey new area it's broken i bet adwa smashed it to slow me down it's broken beyond my repair skills maybe i can take the light from another tent it's for lifting heavy things i don't have anything heavy to lift There's only this one left, which means that Adwa and Chen took the other two. Something is definitely wrong. I can do this for hours. Cool. Hey! Someone's been pulling out the spark plugs. And it doesn't look like maintenance work. Why are they trying to sabotage me so much? No use until I have four of them. I need four of these little beautiful sparkly things. It contains flex winders for powering and recharging various tools. Okay, can I recharge my pipe? Doesn't go there. Okay, you really really like to close things. 
Flex winders. Cool. Um, maybe I need to recharge this? I don't know how spark plugs work. Not like that. Okay, maybe I can get a light for this uh, area. Hey, the magnet found another spark plug. Good magnet. Good, good magnet. Now, where was the light? I think there was one here. Maybe I can take it? I prefer it to be on. But I need it. Silly. Silly, silly. So I'm on a spark plug quest. Can I take this light? I cannot. I really wish Parker hadn't died. She was so cool. So cool. Parker, do you have anything on you? Nope. Maybe this box. Well, I, or I already found something behind this tent. Where else could there be some spark plugs? Do I have to use it on stuff? Like tents or something? Doesn't go there. Hmm. Control box, maybe? Although, I doubt it. I guess not. I, do, I did notice that the magnet sort of picks stuff up without me reacting to it, so I'm guessing I just have to walk around until I hit the right spot where the spark plugs are. So let's go back and walk around. Maybe Adwa dropped some. Silly, silly, traitorous Adwa. Okay, is there anything... I keep see <laughs> seeing garbage, but it's garage. Okay, let's, let's walk. Well, that wasn't... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Another spark plug. Okay. Cool. Why did you go there? My improvised electromagnet found three spark plugs. Someone has been sabotaging the last snowmobile. It doesn't matter who. I need to fix it if I want to follow Adwo and Chen. Hmm. I wonder who is the mastermind of this sabotaging business. I need one more spark plug. Come on, magnet. Don't fail me yet. I did not want to go in that tent. Anything else in this area? Come on. It's a big area. It must be full of spark plugs. Garbage. <laughs> Anything in the tarp? Stop. Stop. Just stop. No spark plugs behind the tarp. Oh! The magnet found another spark plug. That's four. That's all I need. And how are you supposed to find these without just walking randomly around? Anyway, you put the spark plugs in the snowmobile, and you make it work. Cool. <laughs> I can hear the plugs igniting, but it still won't start. Um, are in place, but the, but the damn thing won't start. I imagine I have to drag it to here. Take the hook. I have I have a snowmobile that I want to lift to take it to the flex winder. Jesus, is, this, is that so hard? Am I crazy for thinking that? Maybe I have to connect this. It won't help it. How do you know? Are you an engineer or something? I might be able to breathe some life into that snowmobile with one of these cords. Yes. Do it. At least it's worth a try. More than worth a try. It's our only hope. That should give it some boost. <laughs> the cord doesn't seem to help. I wonder if the power might be turned off or something. Oh, Adwa. Did you think of everything while I was busy doing my job? And being a nice person? It's running at 50% of max capacity. Oh, you bastard of an Adwa. I guess that will have to do. But why isn't it running at 100%? Do 
toolbox. Do I need that? Nothing but strange and useless tools. Fine. General status. 50%. Previous maintenance. Okay. Next maintenance. Overdue. Status. Output. Tent number two. It turned back off again. Why? Why doesn't it want to stay on? Maybe I because I closed it. No connection to the network. Help me. Consult maintenance manual. Well, that's just dandy. It's like those times when you have internet connectivity problems and it suggests that you search the internet for a solution. Gee, thanks. So I imagine 102 is the one with the snowmobile and it's not getting enough power. So can we turn these off? That was a bad idea. Yeah, because I am probably in tent one. Hey, okay, tent two is on. Can I turn the other ones on as well? Fair enough. Well, I, I, I guess that solves it. It's time to go to the snowmobile. A little red lamp indicating something. It's probably because the power is back on. It's just a lamp. I can't do anything with it. I, I think it's a good sign. I can't do that. Okay. Start the snowmobile, please. There we go. That's more like it. Time to get some answers. Answers. So this is where it ends, huh? What are you gonna tell Korsky when you get back? Don't you worry about that. I'll think of something. He knows what you did to Parker, you know. Your hands are no cleaner than mine. As far as he's concerned, they are. Speak of the devil. What are you talking about? Hey, buddies. What's happening? You left in a hurry. You shouldn't have come here, Korsky. And why is that? More shady business to attend to. Is that a gun? It is. The plan was to shoot me and let me take the blame for this mess. But little Chen is of course completely innocent, right? You can talk! You were pulling the strings all along. I never told you to hurt anyone. What? Wait, you never told her to do what? What strings are you talking about? You are slow, aren't you? Don't listen to her, Korsky. She's just messing with your head. Humor me. Meet Comrade Nayar of the Office of Prospecting. Who? The project officer? Uh-huh. I found out when I was digging through the mainframe for files to delete. Which is rather ironic, really, since he's the one who told me to do it. You were supposed to do a complete wipe, dammit! Not sit and read through high-clearance company documents. What are you doing on this rock, anyway? Management wanted me on site to supervise the drilling. They said this would be my chance to redeem myself after some crap that wasn't even my fault to begin with. Not that they cared. So what happened? The progress report happened, that's what. What report? You read the correspondence, didn't you? It was basically a statistics report about us exceeding the estimated result plan for the whole project. Meaning... Meaning that we were doing too damn good. The project would have been labeled as a failure and they would have blamed us for it. So all this because of a stupid statistics report? And everything went out of hand. Or rather, Chen here 
went out of hand. He told me to stop the shipment or they would send me to a prison colony. You almost killed me, Chen. There wasn't enough time. I never got a chance to swap the boxes. And what about Parker? Tell him about her. I panicked, okay? She was watching everything I did like a hawk. And I panicked. So you killed her? It was an accident. She was supposed to fall asleep. I never meant to hurt her. For crying out loud. And now you, Nayar or Adwa or whatever your name is. You're cleaning the slates, right? Now look here. Why else would you want to get here before I did? Because he wanted to make sure both me and the samples disappeared. That's why. And then what? What would you do when the work over here was done? Take me out as well? Well, I must admit, the idea has crossed my mind. Whew, that was close. I hope you didn't whack him too badly there. I'm sorry, Korsky. I can't let you talk to people. What do you mean? They would send me to another camp. I'm not gonna go to one of those camps again. What the? Handcuffs? You've got to be kidding me. Enough killing, comrade. You're... <coughs> You're not going anywhere. Well, neither are you, comrade. I guess it was for the best. Come on. Hey, stop. So we're in a shootout right now, and I think she nicked me. How did I not die already? Hey, we're back to the lump part. Just lumps of snow. Maybe I can use one to throw a snowball, finally. Here you go, Chen. Give up already! I will never give up. Hmm, it's broken. No use, Chen shot it. What can I hurl at her face? The manual. How's that for irony? It's heavy, all right, but I don't think I can hit her from here. Well, I can't get closer, can I? Talk to me, Chen. About what? About our little situation here. You know I have to do this. There's nothing more to say. Fair enough. That was a nice exchange between friends. It's closer than the green one, but still too far away. Chen would hit me for sure. What can I hurl at her face? A uh, pipe. It's actually stuck to the snowmobile, so it's not going anywhere. This is plain stupid. Okay. Maybe I can create a diversion. That would be a bad idea. Okay. No diversions. He took a slug in the head. There's nothing I can do for him. I gotta do... A. A pack box. Did we pack some lunch? Because, um... Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's have lunch. A box for tools and stuff. Oh, so no sandwiches? First aid kit. I think Adwa is beyond the point of first aid. What's in there? Bandages, compresses, tapes... And a mini flare gun. Lovely. Can I shoot her in the face with this? Missed. 
Is that the best you can do? A small flare gun. Not much good enough gunfight. Well, I, I imagine since I still have this, I have unlimited flare gun supplies. And I imagine I have to still throw something icy in her face. So... Maybe I can throw this at her and then signal into the sky. Give up already. Sky? What are you trying to do? Call for help? Give up, Korski. Never. Give me that lump. Damn it. You can throw all the snow you want. I have to remove you, Korski. But we can just be friends. I don't have to talk about this. I think I know what to do. Because it, it's a timed event. One. Yeah, look away, look away. I'm never gonna give up. And bam. Oh. Uh, I'll get you for that. What now? Arr! Do I still have to hit her? Damn, I missed it. Quit playing games. Oh, this is more than a game. Totally. Oh, I know what to do. Number one. Yes, call for help, totally. Bam. Yes, you'll get me for it. And bam. Gotcha. Oh, what a way to go. Must be painful. Having your face burned off. Ouchie. See you later, Gorski. Well, I hope you can find peace now, wherever you are. Still, good riddance. Maybe Parker was right. Maybe there is a way to forget about this place. Getting away from it is a good start, I guess. Getting away. Still not going home. Because I don't really know where home is anymore. That was Camp 1, a very beautiful and very short game. I thought it would be a lot longer than this, to be honest. I loved it. It's, this is like the essence of good adventure gaming. Thank you so much for watching this beautiful game. It was uh, quite challenging at times, especially with the fuse boxes. I, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that one out, except just trying it out, Try, trying random things. But I've been the Zen Bear. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next game.